Uh, so, you know, there's been a lot of talk in the Formula One paddock recently about, you know, who who should uh, be driving for Lotus because Kenny Raikkonen is leaving. He's going back to Ferrari. I mean, you know, big developments, guys. This is really important stuff. I know everybody's thinking about it, especially the people who watch this channel. So I just thought I'd give you my take on it. I think there's a vacant seat. There's some names being bandied around. I don't know if like, Felipe Massa was thinking of driving there. See, I... I mean, I wouldn't let Felipe Massa drive my car, let alone a Formula One vehicle, so I don't know. Um, there's also people like Hulkenberg that they reckon he deserves the job. Quite honestly, and I think it's an unconventional choice, not a, not a lot of people are making this suggestion, but I think the drive at Lotus should go basically towards me. Um, and I know that might seem comical to some people, but I mean, I, I, I think I've proven myself over my many years of... of competitive racing driving I mean look at this car look how fast it's going I'm actually not driving it yet but I will be in a second and um just before I <coughs> before I hop behind the wheel <laughs> um well, let me just look at my credentials I mean uh you know I'm cheap I mean they're thinking of paying I mean I don't know how much you pay a Formula 1 car person driver pilot guy I don't know how much you give him like, so many millions of dollars every year I would basically work for, I think, well, free, basically. I don't really care, because, I mean, you've got to assume that since there's a lot of travelling involved, I'd probably be able to sleep in the team caravan uh, or in the garage or in the pit lane somewhere. I, I could find a spot in pretty much any raceway in the world to just sleep undisturbed. Um, so there's money. I mean, I'm more economical than your conventional Formula One driver. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I, um, I drink champagne. I've, I've been known to partake, to imbibe. I wouldn't waste it like most of them do. Like, they spray it on each other at the victory ceremonies. They also spray it on the, on the trophy girls. Those, those, uh, those grid girls that stand in a big line as they go towards the podium, uh, the, the podium thing. I mean, I, I'd be respectful to those, to those girls as well, because I think they do a great job. Of, of standing there and looking pretty. Um, oh, someone's talking. And so, I mean, and above all, I mean, there's my actual driving ability as well. I think, and you know, I'd, I'd get along well with the team bosses. I wouldn't say too many political, because you guys all know how politi politically correct I am. I wouldn't say bad things in the press or ever get in trouble for my opinions. Um, basically, I'm the perfect choice. I think someone needs to basically tell Lotus that I'm available. And uh, it's just sign me up because, um, okay, now here's this car. Oh, and above all else, I mean, this isn't the car they'll be using, of course. This is uh, the 1985 Lotus, but the, um, okay, we're now driving. Oh god, I didn't move my legs. Oh god! <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna come out of the pit lane. We're going good guns now. Okay, I'm just moving my legs so I don't do that again. Um, I'm going to try not to stall it now. Now, I mean, next year they're going to be using turbo engines again, so, I mean, and this thing's a turbo, so I'm just going to show you my incredible skill behind the wheel, alright, coming out of the pit lane. See, Team Lotus basically need me. They might not want me, and they might not even know I exist, but basically, I am the man they need! Oh, god. Okay, I appear to have damaged the suspension somewhat. I know, I know that might seem like a red flag right there, but I mean, this is a damaged car, and I'm still keeping it on the road, so... So they know that they can rely on me in a sticky situation to uh, keep the car moving. Oh god, it's not even turning anymore. Okay. You know, I mean, sometimes you might think when a car gets damaged in the middle of a race, the championship's on the line and they'll be thinking, Oh god, he's never going to get it back to the pits. Well, I'm going to show you right now the skill that I have in getting a wounded vehicle back to its nest for repairs. I mean... And I think David's ultimate jealousy of me is another factor, another reason I'd be a good... Uh, driver for the team because while I'm ripping up the racetrack around the world in exotic locations uh, Just basically being great and David will be at home burning with envy. Oh now, okay Now you might think that's a bad thing that I just crashed here, but to be honest I mean if you look at this location uh, Senna had an accident here once and he's supposed to be the best so I mean if you know if he can fuck up there Anybody can. Oh, I just said fuck. I'm not supposed to swear in my new role as, a, as an ambassador for the sport. Oh. Stalled it. Oh, there we go. Got it back. See? Yeah, I mean... And uh, I also, uh, I think... 
I just, I, I respect the Lotus name. I know it carries a great history, even though it's not the same company anymore. But just the brand, you know, means a lot to me. Uh, Colin Chapman, who I think, by the way, you know, was the subject of a vicious witch hunt. If you ever read up the, uh, the, the goings on between him and uh, the DeLorean guy, I think that was, I think it was harsh. What happened to those two? I think they were upstanding citizens, they didn't do anything wrong. Okay. No, this car's really impossible to drive, I gotta tell you. Hopefully next year's model will be better. It better be, otherwise, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deliver. Okay. Oh god. This thing keeps stalling. Alright, here we go. God, so much for the mighty lighters, huh? Alright, now we're moving. I've been, I've been playing, um, what's it? The 2012 version all day. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man! Okay. I have really... Okay. I reckon I can totally get this car around the track once. As long as it doesn't stall again. Alright, so look at that. Smooth. It's a tr smooth transition between gears they're looking for. Oh. Hear that engine? Taking around that nice and smooth. Oh, see, I may not be the fastest driver in the paddock, but it's my smoothness that they'll respect. Jackie Stewart thinks I'm very smooth. Um, <laughs> look at the way he just takes that corner there. I don't know what it's called. They all have names, apparently. Uh, you know, racing enthusiasts they like to sound tough and manly and all that, but really they're very sentimental. They like they like to give every corner a name, like fluffy and puffy wuffy and all that. This one here, I don't know what this is called. The uh, Halle Berry corner. I don't know. God, don't stall it, whatever you do. Okay, we are totally going to get this car around the track once. It's my it's my contract with you. My word is my bond. Oh, shit. Oh, almost wound up like center again. Oh, the trick with this car is not to get too generous with the throttle, otherwise it will fucking jump on you. Ah! Oh, yes. Now we're really moving. <laughs> 200 kilometers an hour. Shit, that's so bad. Oh, like the tires. Oh, see, I mean, okay. I, I envisioned basically this video being screened in the Lotus headquarters uh, somewhere in England. And um, the, the bosses are skeptical. They're like, what is this? How good could he be? And then they put the video on and they see me roaring around the swimming pool. Oh, look at that. The control on display here is enviable. Said no one ever. Okay. Oh, shit. No, I, I must I must tell you, I really was proud of myself today. I actually finished a race and came eighth. Um, now, it was only a five lap race and I had to restart it about 50 times, but I got there in the end. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, I mean, that's... That's uh, the, what you call it, the game 2012, and it's not... Fucking hell, what the hell's wrong with this damn thing? second? Okay. Yeah, it's not really what you'd call a simulator. I mean, it's probably easier. It's probably too easy, and if, I could, if I'm barely succeeding on, like, the easy, stupid version, then, uh, then uh, I'm clearly not very competent. I mean, I do play it on the hardest setting. I don't know if that means anything, but, um... Turn, you bitch! Oh, okay. You know, I think, basically, I've, I've told you everything you need to know. But, I mean, just look look at that car, if you can. It won't zoom in. How am I supposed to show you the car? Oh, okay, here we go. Look at... I mean, you know, that's not the car they're going to be driving next year, but I mean, I think I'd look good behind the wheel of something like that. I'm sure you agree with me. So, yeah, basically just, uh, con you know, consider me, guys, because I think I'm the man for the job. I think you'd really like me. Um, oh, look at the wheels on that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, when it comes right down to it, I'd be a better choice than uh, Felipe Massa. The, um, yeah. I'm gonna stop now. Bye-bye. <laughs>